luckily enough, Wichita State dropped uh, their last game of the season to Loyola, which solidified us in the third seed of the tournament, which I think is, sets us up well going into this weekend. Um, you know, you got to win three games, um, one a day. Don't have to play extra extra games in a day, which which sets us up well pitching wise. Um, and I think right now we're hitting our peak offensively. We've gone from hitting about 225 as a team to getting ourselves up to the 260 range as a team. I think it shows our potential and where we should be at a little bit more than where we've been most of the year. Um, you know, I think our team's a team that could be hitting a closer to 300 as a group, but we kind of put ourselves in a hole early in the year. Um, but really excited about where we're at. We traditionally play well the weekend after finals. So they're in, in class taking finals today, tomorrow, and Wednesday morning. And we'll get on the bus and head to Wichita and uh, see what we can do. Both of the teams that we could potentially face in Illinois State and Bradley um, both took series, series from us this year. Um, the one stat that I told the girls about yesterday was if you look back at every Valley series, we won the first game of every, every series. Um, <clears throat> you know, that says a lot about us and, and how we approached every weekend. Um, but for us to still drop two series, one to uh, Illinois State and one to Bradley, after winning game one, um, you know, it's a little revenge factor for us in either one of those teams. Um, you know, we want to we show better against them, and uh, hopefully we can use that to our advantage. Yeah, we, we kind of split up the year into four different seasons. We've got our fall season uh, where we're doing a lot of teaching and a lot of evaluating in our off season. Um, kind of measuring mental toughness and, and uh, physical toughness. And then you got your regular season, which is a grind, which is a measure of consistency and um, you know, sticking to your approach and sticking to your process and trusting in what you've done up to that point. And then you, you, you race the board again, and, and now you got the postseason, which you know, the biggest thing that matters at this point is, is your heart and how much, your, how much desire you have and how much pride you have in what you do and, and the people around you. Um, that's what's going to separate people at this point.